I guess I'll give you the tour here. So I got it from Goodhue and this guy, Schaefer. Now it's a 77 passenger, but if you look, there's 12 windows. And I was told originally that uh, six people per window. So uh, let's see if I can do my math. 12 times six is 72. So I guess there's, I don't know, it's, I haven't measured the bus, it should be 40 foot. So it's a Thomas, International Thomas 3800 DT 466, not 466E, so it is a pre-electronic engine. Um, need to check out the brake pressure on it and make sure that's, I gotta figure out their lights on. I haven't noticed any issues driving it back, but I do need to get that fixed. So it was registered in Minnesota as a school bus, which we drove it back with those plates. Uh, last year, is that sticker there was um, past uh, DOT Minnesota inspection. Um, it's dirty. They used it on their farm, I think, a couple times. So, don't have access to water here, so I don't think we're going to be able to pressure wash it. Unless I bring it to my neighbor's house, he might let me. Or um, one of my co-workers, he might let me too. Now there is rust, but... I checked it all. I mean, it's not it's not real soft at all. It's not soft. But I mean, there's there's it's caked on. I think all that tan stuff is actually a rust inhibitor. Which I might put a rust inhibitor on here. I'm not sure. But uh tires are 9 years old in the front, 10 in the back. It's got a manual door. So there's no way to get in it except um through the back. So right now, I bought a heavy-duty um, gate uh, gate latch. So I'm gonna throw that on with some some uh, machine head bolts and um, put a big padlock on it. So I can show you here first how the doors operate. Pretty old school. Ah. Wait, so you got your passenger <laughs> and you, you just close it here and then this latch is in and there's no way to disengage it, it's just a spring, you'd have to take it out. So if you wanted to open it, you have to just pop it down and your passenger can come in like that. This is our first time on the bus. so. She's still getting used to it, and right now our plan is to keep the doors. Um, but if we have no way of locking them, since we might uh, put a wall up over the back, we might have to replace the doors. Um, unless I was thinking of, I don't know, doing some sort of tying something, a wire or even a rope, probably wire as a finished product, onto that little latch and then have it come out like in here or something so if my it'll just look like a little handle or something and then if you don't uh if you didn't know it was there you're not gonna know how to open the bus but you just pull on that that'll release the lever and then just the the pressure of these doors should pop them open 65 gallon tank total so the guy was saying that there's it's really about 50 because there's a there's a tube on the bottom that doesn't it's I don't know if it's a reserve or what or it's just to keep the gunk out of the engine which I need to look into that but 65 gallons well, let me show you how to date the tires here okay where did I see that before so MS mud and snow and here it is DOT P um, P2H is where it's manufactured and then 49 is the 49th week of 05 2005 and school bus tires according to the school are um, supposed to be replaced every 8 years I think 10's getting old so these are about 10 and you can see the tread on them. I mean, the tread. 
it looks, I mean, it's okay. We're not going to drink all of them, so. Um, I might just have a look and get, have somebody inspect it. You can see on the front, you now these things are getting worn down to the, um, I think that's just the, the tread depth marker it shouldn't go to that, so it's getting pretty close. So, uh, I mean, I could just uh, replace the front ones. Um, see here again. See, you got different manufacturer, half uh, 24th week, 2006. Check the other side. And here's the uh, engine block heater, which probably runs off of AC. 120 AC, so uh, <laughs> unless we get a generator, I don't know if we'd be able to really use it. I'll have to look. Uh, so, the date on these tires. Maybe it's only on one side. Regroovable. Hmm. I don't see the DOT stamp on here. So it must just be on the other side and I don't want to get it in there right now. See this tire is a lot better. So I might just have to replace that one tire. Or just get it regrooved, but I probably don't want to get it regrooved. Exhaust pipe, um I forget what it was. I looked I looked online all about checking out um, diesel trucks and stuff. Um, it said something about the exhaust pipe. I can't remember what it was, but when I checked it, it looked okay. Uh, and the smoke coming out of it wasn't white and billowing. It wasn't that much deep exhaust. So I gotta take a stop sign out. Might do that today, actually. Uh, but pretty much got it registered. Uh, got title. Need to get insurance. Insurance for it, um, and before we drive it, we should paint it green. Um, which ideally we're not going to do until we do the roof raise. But um, we'll we'll see. I'm thinking it would be fine to paint majority of it. Just paint all this yellow green. Don't paint it, paint anything up here because all that's pretty much coming out um, and then we can legally drive it and we can go to Menards the hardware store oh did you find your spot yeah I bet it's nice under there huh uh, Superstore Menards it's, it's Home Depot Lowe's same thing um, then we can get sheet metal plywood I'm not I'm actually I don't know if we can get sheet metal from them but we can get plywood and insulation first project is take the seats out, sell them on Craigslist, or for free. Uh, second is to take out the interior ceiling and interior walls, interior floor. You come inside. Come on. Um, so that's step two, and pretty much step three is our big steps, not the mini steps. Step three is going to be... Uh, do the roof raise, put the sheet metal on, put the insulation in. Well, that's three, four, five, but pretty much we need to do the roof raise, get the insulation in before it starts getting cold, and um, try and get the plumbing in too, because that's going to be temperature, temperature sensitive. Not really, it's just it'll be harder to, to bend the pecs if it's cold. And this is probably going to be replaced with a skylight. This one, I'm uh, not sure about. It's going to be right in the bedroom. I have to measure it. But that's pretty much going to be... Somewhere around here is going to be the bedroom bathroom wall. And this side is going to be bathroom. This is going to be the bedroom. Um, so bathroom's here. Over here is going to be our two heaters. Um, just, just wait a second. Just wait. Two heaters are over here. Kitchen is going to be here. And then living room is going to be here. And then there's going to be fold down table here. And that's pretty much it. That's going to be our house.
Uh, it's pretty awesome thinking about this. And uh, you'll notice that all these are not rivets, which is going to make taking it down so easy. All the everything, there's no rivets on the interior. You got half inch uh, bolts, and I think that's a Phillips two would be my guess. Um, screws. And everything in here is screws. Everything on the walls is screws. It's going to be a breeze taking all this out. Because originally I was thinking, okay, we're going to have rivets, and probably best thing is either drill it out or um, angle grind, angle grind, and then punch it out. But this is just, I mean, this is going to save a lot of time. But, as I said, first project, get these seats out. Give us room to work. Get rid of them. That's part of the issue is we can't just dump these outside because, I mean, we got to keep this clean because um, it's not our property. It's, it's the storage property. But we do have a storage unit, which we may or may not get rid of immediately. So we could store seats in there if we clean that out. Now that I've got a lock for the bus, I just need to get uh, a locking gas cap. Not that there's, not that it's too likely to, you know, have somebody come back here and steal the gas. But I did hear somebody recently on one of the big lakes had their their gas uh, um, siphoned out. Of course, that was probably that was probably uh, gasoline, not diesel. And then all this is the. Um, water, the hot water that feeds the the two um, heaters, which the other one you can see is there. So I'm going to have to cut all that out and uh, cap it up here right after the driver's side. I would probably move. Go on, back up. Beep, beep, beep. Go on. Jump. Jump. Good girl. Want the windows open? No. Uh, there's a valve right there, and then there's two valves in the engine that allow the hot water to go through. 